what are the top 10 things to do in Brantford, Ontario? As regardless, if you're watching this in the summertime, the winter time, on a sunny day or a rainy day, there's gonna be lots for you to do when enjoying Brantford. And the very first activity I'd always recommend is going to check out Brant Conservation Area. This is a large park located right on the Grand River and it is a perfect spot for anyone that enjoys the outdoor activities. As of course, you have those classic activities like hiking, fishing, canoeing, kayaking, swimming and more but this spot here is also a great spot to go camping and have a staycation with any family or friends for maybe a weekend getaway but then also here you have the option to rent a tube and go floating down the Grand River which is like a large natural lazy river for you to enjoy or if you want to stick by the pool here you can find one of Ontario's largest outdoor pools that covers 1.25 acres in this park here and that's accompanied with a great splash pad for your kids to enjoy and then of course you have a large deck for the parents to go hang out and chill also then another park you need to check out especially on a nice sunny summer day would be the Glenhurst Gardens and Art Gallery as here is a perfect spot for you to go enjoy the outdoors and also get in touch with your artistic side as you'll find here 16 acres to explore of beautifully manicured gardens on the outside and then when you're ready you can take a step in to the Glenhurst Art Gallery, which is an open public art gallery, allowing you to enjoy some local artist's works. And then if you're looking for something a little more lively to do, you can also go visit the Earl Hag Fun Park. And this park here features a long lazy river that's 182 meters, but you also have multiple water slides to go down and enjoy. And then for the younger kids, you do get a great splash pad as well as an 18 hole mini putt course for all ages and then plus there's also batting cages a picnic area and so much more to do at this park here now this park is only open during the summer months so definitely make sure you capitalize on it while it's warm then the next thing you can do when in Brantford is go check out the Twin Valley Nature Park and this is a zoo just a short drive away from Brantford it offers a variety of fun activities and programs for their visitors to do and is geared to families of all ages as you can go check out a variety of different animals they have. They have the zebras, peacocks, monkeys, lions, and everything in between. And perhaps their most popular option is the guided tour where you can learn a little bit about each of the different types of animals and the personality that comes with each individual. So if you're new here, my name is Matthew. I'm a local realtor and this is my channel where I share everything about what it's like living in Hamilton and the surrounding cities like Brantford. So if you are interested in learning more about Brantford, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're thinking about moving here, feel free to send me a message. Otherwise, let's jump back into the video. And the next thing I'd recommend you go do when in Brantford is go visit Brantwood Farms. And this is a family farm located on the north side of Brantford and is specializing for growing all of the fresh fruits depending on the season is. But when you go visit here during the weekend or during one of those special days like Halloween, you're gonna find a variety of different activities for you to go do. So you can go pick up a pumpkin and go also through a straw man or get your face painted or go through a haunted house whatever the activity is I'm sure you're gonna have a great time at Brantwood Farms and leave with some incredibly tasting produce then if you are looking for more produce and other local farms and businesses to support the next thing you need to check out when in Brantford is the Brantford Farmers Market as this has been going on since 1848 and offers a wide variety of products to choose from as of course you have those fresh produce from the local farms but you can also find many local businesses selling their fresh baked goods all the way up to their little trinkets and knickknacks for you to enjoy as in total there's 49 stalls open year-round with an additional 15 to 20 stalls in the summer months occupying the parking lot here and it's open every Friday from 9 until 2 p.m. and then every Saturday from 7 until 2 so if you are interested in getting some fresh baked goods grabbing some local meats and produce I promise you you won't be disappointed with this farmers market here then another thing you can go do when in Brantford is go check out the many local breweries that it has to offer you. A few of my favorites would be Bell City Brewery as well as Steel Wheel Brewery. You also have Mash Pal Brewery are probably my three favorite breweries but then you also have Man's Distillery which creates its own variety of unique gins, vodka, rum, and whiskey 
for you to enjoy as well. Then if you are looking for a bit more adult fun, another activity you can go do when in Brantford is go visit the casino. As in downtown Brantford, you're going to find Elements Casino where you can go place a bet on the craps table, roulette, play a hand or two of blackjack, as well as pull the lever on many different slot machines for you to enjoy. And then another thing you can do when in Brantford is go golfing. And this is one of my personal favorite things to do when go catching up with some buddies in Brantford is going to check out one of the many different golf clubs. Some of my favorite options for you to choose from is first Brantford Golf and Country Club, which is a spectacular golf course located right on the Grand River, offering some amazing views. And then also you have the Walter Gretzky Golf Course close by, as well as the Brant Valley Golf Club to choose from. But then also throughout the year, if you want to keep the golf game going, you can go check out one of the many local simulators where you can go hit some balls and also grab some beers. My personal favorite in Brantford would have to be a Players Indoor Golf and Sports Bar. And then another thing you can do in Brantford is go check out one of the many great local historic sites that are found within Brantford's communities. As first, you have the original home of Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone, which is also why Brantford is known as the telephone city and here you can walk through his home where he invented the telephone and it's like you're taking a step back in time as the interior hasn't changed since 1876. Then also if you want to learn a bit more about the Canadian military you can go check out the Canadian Military Museum which you can go learn more about the first and second world wars and the focus that Brantford had on helping Canada become victorious and then you also also have the Mohawk Resident School which is a landmark as this was one of the first residential schools in Canada and today it is used as an art gallery and library dedicated to the indigenous people giving you some insights into the struggle of the historical indigenous communities in 1828 in the Brantford area and then another iconic building you need to go check out is the Mohawk Chapel as this is one of the most notable attractions as this is a royal chapel and is one of Canada's Canada's oldest surviving buildings and is only one of three royal chapels still left in North America with artifacts dating back centuries. And then if you are interested in seeing a few iconic statues you can find in Brantford, you first have the Wayne Gretzky statue outside of the Wayne Gretzky Sports Center, but then you also have the Alexander Graham Bell statue just outside Bell City's headquarters. And then you also have the Joseph Branch statue inside of Brantford's Victoria Park. So if you are interested in moving to Brantford and want to learn more, the next video I recommend you go check out is my video going over the top 10 things you need to know before moving to Brantford. So you can find that video right here. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.